Three things. The voice of the main character is not voice acted. The subtext when a character is speaking is not voice acted. And when you click on things in the world, it's not voice acted. But all, they're basically, the best way to say it is, there's a narrator now. Most of the text in this game is narr narration. And there is now a narrator. And he's really good. Bust of a woman. Oh, that's Dolores, right? Some kind of machine, an antique cash register. Kind of happy the main character is in voice. Me too. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. A typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Let your gaze run over the streetlight. The light pole has been carefully cut and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly, but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. Oh, I should come here with Kim. I will probably be back here with Kim. It looks like there's a lot going on here, so... We'll, we'll come here with Kim in the morning, after we do the, uh... The body. Go talk to the boat lady? Oh, uh, we could. Why am I exploring without Kim? I'm, I'm just poking around. Not any particular reason. Track sitting under the roof, the session rain has almost washed them away. We'll go get some sleep and uh, do stuff with Kim in the morning. Uh, I don't think this is the voice actor who does Kratos. No, he he he's a different actor, I believe. Go talk to Joyce. Go go talk to Joyce. Let's go talk to Joyce. Yeah, I think this is Lenville Brown, like Superito just said. This is not Christopher Judge. Indeed. Go to the body without Kim to see if you can get the shoes? No, I don't want to get the shoes. Did you, do you not remember why we didn't get them? <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get the shoes for a very good reason. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Oh, Thelurum, we'll definitely do the reality talk with, uh, with Joyce in the future. Yeah, that I'm planning to. Numlock, uh, we already made the, we, yeah, we, we exhausted the phone call options. Mm-hmm.
Can I pick up any trash in here? Doesn't look like it. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. Crawl in. <laughs> nice. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. Oh. The bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes. And then sleep doesn't come. Oh, well. And then...
you, a thin, sleep-like state, more glass than velvet, grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. God, there's another type? Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head. Like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. <laughs> this guy's voice, dude. Oh my god. Hello. It's time to get your clothes on. <laughs> Sounds like one of those like character actors from those old British comedies. <laughs> time to go to work in the shit factory. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's the same dude doing both voices? I, I bet it is. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, we get healed when we sleep. Nice. Good going, buddy. Oh my God, what the hell was that? I just had the most beautiful dream. Uplifting, rejuvenating. Really? Because you feel even worse this morning than you did last night. The hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. No, that's not it. Really, I feel super good. That's not really true. Your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. You're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. Wait, what is speed? Speed is a potent central nervous system. Oh, dude, stimulant. this is my body trying to convince me to get more all day methamphetamine, yesterday, isn't it? Despite your debilitating hangover, how else did you think you even got up from this floor? It's power, man. It's professionalism. It makes you feel like you're young again and ready to detect. Ready to go to war against the world. No, I can take this. I'm not going to look for it. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Let's be honest, two weeks. Maybe three. You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You will be fired. That's a lie! I can do this without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. <laughs> See how you do without your spark. That'd be crazy if we actually had stats go down because we're not taking drugs. I wonder if my boy's up. Uh, one sec. Oh, cool. Okay. Hmm. Is it down here? May King says, what a boring choice. Well, making, to be fair, I'm a pretty boring person. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Use the mirror again. Oh, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> to my credit, I'm pretty boring myself. Yeah, let's be real. Standard, safe for work, white guy, right in the middle politically. Like, I'm I'm really about as boring as it gets, Chad. Morning. Gives you a quick nod. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union muscle turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. What do you mean, rowdy? I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. These men here. Well, I've got rubber gloves on, a flashlight, and a bag of trash. I think I'm ready to attack the day. What do you guys think? Men who drink beer for breakfast? There's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for state policing. I think it's them. 
Are these the men Gart told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Uh, sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. One loose thread less to worry about, and one big problem to replace it. There's so many of them, maybe we should call in reinforcements? Nah, let's roll. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else first. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? Oh god, I am. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Oh man. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Oh man. No, don't. No, oh, but they're both good. No. No. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face <laughs> adorned with the expression. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Use your chain cutters to fix the faucet. Stop steam. Oh, tool not in hand. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. The chain cutters slip out of your hands as you attempt to twist the faucet into place. Well, you know one thing for sure. You've probably never been a plumber. <laughs> oh, I want to level. Okay. Oh, do I have better clothes for interfacing? I think I think I have my interfacing gloves on. Yeah. The only the only interfacing thing I have is my gloves, and they're already on. So we'll come back later and do it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna power move this and we're gonna go look at that body right now. Yeah. Save scum, you know you want to. I know I want to, but this game kind of like, because of the way that you can like redo checks and stuff, it's it's actually pretty cool how it does that. So I'm, I'm okay with going back later and doing it. What's up, dude? Can I help you? Got oh, my bill for tonight. Got the 20 real? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? And yours. Okay. Anything new from you? Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. The cafeteria manager appears genuinely apologetic. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. <gasps> Gary? Wait, what's wrong with the phone line? The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. Ask God, maybe. Why do you need to use the phone anyway? To let the young woman who's house sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night, but they're still missing and I haven't heard from them. Uh oh. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. This sounds like this sounds more like a side thing. I need to take care of my main thing. <laughs> Okay, I'll bite. Has your husband got missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. Oh, Lord. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets yeah. of reeds. Something sweet in it, somnolent. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. But you have more important things to worry about. What is this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. 
He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. Oh, interesting. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock oh. to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? The water lock that's going up at 7.15 on Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. The water lock that was broken. Could this be it? Wait, who's this scary person? Do you trust him? Oh, sweetie. It's nothing like that. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. The water lock to the other side of the coast is broken. They're probably just stuck over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Probably just some technical problem. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. That's interesting. The only reason we knew that is because we went down there last night and just happened to check it out. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely ah! rare insect. One can only hope. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. If I see him, I'll let him know you're here. When or if I get there. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Tell me more about this rare insect your husband's looking for. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological minutiae. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. No, 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 I want to hear about this insect. Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Ah, yes. Phasmatodia. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Cool. Ghost insects. Colloquially. Colloquially. Oh, yeah. Here comes the interesting. Wait a second. Diluette with the 3,000 tier this morning. Belated congratulations. The third edition of the Carnage Clan on the way. Coach here from Diluette. Diluette, thank you so much for that. I'm sorry I missed that earlier. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insul Indian coast. Cool. Hence its name, the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the Phasmid with us, officers. To be honest, this animal sounds like a cryptid. You wouldn't happen to be searching for some kind of gnome of Jeroma, would you? I smell pseudoscience, he's thinking. Not a big fan of that. It's simply elusive. So much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. Establishment. I thought so. What makes you think the phasmid is around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They, they didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. So, a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have? Of course, most phasmid sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Okay, okay. So it's dangerous? <laughs> Not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Okay. Is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Thanks, Winter. And now the important question, does it have cool powers? Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years, centuries even. Okay, what's so special about this stick bug then? Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. So he's some kind of scientist? Oh, yes. A zoologist. A cryptozoologist, to be more precise. What is cryptozoology? 
It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. The lieutenant sounds unimpressed. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. Hobby? It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology. One specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy yeah, to do it. it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. The quality of research at Revacholian universities has been on the decline, but you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology was embraced by the academic elite. Savage. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are her own. Maybe you could convince her to tell you about some cool cryptids. You're an enthusiastic idiot, but you're still <laughs> an idiot. I want to know everything about cryptids. Living cryptids, extreme cryptids, marine cryptids, land cryptids. Bring it on! We don't have time for Cryptozoology 101. Let's get back to work, shall we? That's all for now, man.